this is the new LG OLED Evo C3 TV. And it's probably the only TV you need. Now, I've spent my hard earned money on this 55 inch variant and have been using it daily for two weeks. So, if you play this, this, oh, love watching this. Stay tuned because you will find out if this is really worth it. So my LG journey on getting this Evo C3 variant started off with the LG NanoCell LED TV as I couldn't afford an OLED TV two years ago. Then I switched to the LG C1 which is my current daily TV and now to this. So why did I wait this long to change my TV? Well firstly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with my LG C1. Secondly, like smartphones, I believe that we should at least skip two generations or more. And thirdly, money does not grow on trees and I had to save up to get this LG Evo C3. Now, why OLED, you may ask? Now, to explain in simple terms, each individual pixel is lit. So there's no blooming or any unnecessary backlighting and you can definitely tell a difference in darker or contrast seats. Now, just comparing with the previous NanoCell LED TV on a darker image, you can see how the blacks were not perfectly black when compared side by side. So if you're watching something like during the darker scenes of Disney Plus Ashoka or Batman's 2022, you'll be able to see the difference. Now, speaking of which, what do you think of the Batman movie? unpopular opinion. I personally did not like it at all. But you know what? Let's discuss it further either in the comment section below or join our community Discord server too. All the links will be down below. Alright, finishing off with this OLED panel topic, another reason why I choose LG as my OLED panel because not only is the fact that they are also celebrating their 10 year anniversary, but they have been the number one OLED TV for 10 years in a row. And yes, that is longer than any of my relationships so far. Touch wood. So yeah, if you did not know, now you know. So whether or not you're watching SDR or HDR or Dolby Vision certified content, the picture quality will be truly enjoyable. The details, the contrast and the overall balance between the light and dark area are very well optimized. It's like a perfectly big souffle. I guarantee you like it. Now, on top of that, the fact that it's also certified iSafe by TUV Rainland, certified flicker-free display and has the discomfort glare-free certifications from UL Solutions clearly means that you can binge watch your favourite shows or even play games for hours. There goes my productivity lah. Alright, speaking of gamers, let's address you gamers out there. Now, whether or not you're a casual gamer or a game controller, Jedi or Sith, you don't know the power of the dark side. There are a few reasons why you should get this TV. Now, firstly, there's not one, not two, but four HDMI 2.1 ports. Now, this means you can fully utilize 4K 120Hz on this TV without manually dancing between changing all the cables from your PS5 to your Xbox to your PC. And speaking of which, if you're a Mac user, don't worry, you can do it wirelessly since this LG Evo C3 supports Apple too. Now, you can even hook up your sound system along through the HDMI ARC port like this LG SC9S, which I'll talk about a bit later. And with all of that hooked up, you don't have to worry about running out of pots. Now, secondly is the custom gamer centric panel where you can access specific settings like the variable refresh rate and the ability to see the current refresh rate that the game is running as well as easily change between the different picture profiles to suit the particular game that you're playing. Now, third of all is simply the performance. Now, the response time claimed by LG is 0.1 milliseconds, which I can't confirm because I don't have a specialty equipment like Mr. Gerald and Dunn, but I can really feel how responsive the overall gaming is when it comes to higher refresh rate games. Because every movement that I make, every move you make, every move you make, the controller seems to translate on the screen almost instantaneously. So definitely no issues if you are a hardcore gamer yourself. Then auto low latency mode is also present which definitely helps during gaming and like the previous C variants, it is also Nvidia G-Sync and AMD FreeSync support so screen tearing is not an issue over here, just like how it's not an issue for you to please like this video and also subscribe to the channel. <laughs>
Next, let's talk about the overall experience of owning this TV. Firstly, the actual build quality is amazing. Super thin as you can see over here. And I'm not just referring as a panel, but also the back housing as well. It is also surprisingly light too, so light that I personally have no issues moving the TV around myself. And if I were to wall mount this to the wall, I could technically do it myself if I'm not on crutches. Wouldn't be a smart thing to do, but maybe I could. Now, I mentioned about the four HDMI ports earlier, but other than that, there's also three USB Type-A for external media if you want, a headphones jack, an Ethernet port, an optical port, a service port, and also a coax port as well. So there's plenty more other than the HDMI port available. Now, because of the structure of the TV was thin, the viewing experience was also really great because the bezels were also really thin to really improve the overall viewing experience. It is also 4% brighter than the previous LG C2 and a whooping 70% brighter than my previous LG C1, but it overall seems to hold brightness better on this LG C3. Now, on the inside, LG has upgraded to a new Alpha 9 AI processor 4K Gen 6 for better picture performance with things like AI brightness control, AI Super Scaling 4K and AI Picture Pro. So everything was left as it is because why do things yourself when you have AI, am I right? And a feature that I could not live without since owning this series is the filmmaker mode where you can actually watch a movie the way the director intends to be and this is a mode that I have been living on all the time not only for watching movies but also when it comes to watching YouTube videos especially for creators like us who puts lots and lots of effort in the color grading. Then for the audio experience, the built-in speakers are good for general use. It has Dolby Atmos support for the built-in speakers, but for a true cinema experience, you can always invest on a soundbar. Now, you can also pair it with a soundbar like this LG SC9S, which I borrowed from my buddy of mine to test it out together with the TV, where it is actually designed for this particular TV as well. How? Well, firstly, it could also be mounted on the TV base itself, which is called the WOW bracket that is unique to this SC9S soundbar, and it applies not only for this 55-inch variant, but also for the 65 and the 77 inch variant as well which overall makes the setup look really neat now secondly it can also work together with the tv speakers in what they call the wow orchestra to give a more immersive experience and this soundbar also comes with a sub that has dolby atmos dtsx and imax enhanced certification so if you'd like to explore more about this soundbar, I will leave links down below as well. Then the Harry Potter Waving Magic Remote as usual is available on this LG Evo C3. Now other than the cursor-like feature following your motion, there's also dedicated buttons, for example, like the voice command, which is really great. And compared to the previous Magic Remote on my LG C1, the logo on buttons like Amazon Alexa has been changed. Then the Google logo has changed to the LG channels. And that is pretty much it. Now, while there's nothing wrong with it, I wish that the looks would have changed a bit, but probably probably the next generation. Now, speaking of the next generation, let's talk about the operating system of the LG Evo C3. Now, it comes with the latest WebOS 23, which is not only super responsive, but snappy like a hungry crocodile, and it's also very simple even if you are a beginner using this WebOS. Now, I've been reviewing other TVs, and in my humble opinion, this is hands down the best OS on a TV yet because it's nicely arranged and the additional cards like icon and previews of the apps are pretty much really nicely optimized. And speaking of optimizations, the apps are also optimized for TV viewing experience compared to a typical Android-based TV, where some apps on an Android TV may not be optimized properly for a TV viewing experience. Then the ThinQ smart app integration is also available, which means that you can integrate this with other LG smart products if you may, or appliances like fridge and washing machines. Now, speaking of WebOS, head to our website at www.adamlogo.tv if you'd like to see a written version of this video, which I'll link it down below. So, there you have it, a full rundown on the LG C3 OLED TV with my daily experience using this for two weeks. It has pretty much everything that you would want in a high-end TV without actually having to rob a bank. <laughs> now, while my eyes were also looking towards the G series TVs from LG, but I will need to save up so much more for that. So, do I recommend this LG Evo C3 OLED TV and was it worth it? Hell yeah, it is. Maybe hell yeah.